Welcome to Kellis Coder, and it's burger time. <laughs> It actually needs pepper. It needs an infinite amount of pepper. Hmm. And I need some sausage and pickles inside of my buns. Yeah. So let's jump in and hack Burger Time. I first download the ROM from Burger Time. I use MAME because I don't have the original arcade, of course. I unzip the ROM, because we're going to edit it, and here I list the contents of the ROMs, because we need this XML file to find in which ROM certain uh, offsets are. Now I check whether to see if the ROM is actually working, it is, cool, oh this brings back memories. I started in debug mode, so I can make several dumps of the amount of peppers and the amount of lives. I move to a safe place and start chucking pepper around. And for each pepper that I throw, I do a dump, give it a file name, the number of peppers left, and from zero to 248. 2048 in this case is the amount of RAM that is in this uh, system. So I repeat making dumps until I have no peppers left. Then I start compare, which is a Linux diff tool, and I will compare the amount of peppers. So first I choose four and three. Compare them and I will look through what has changed here for something that is a four and a three. And here I find a 4 and there I find a 3. So this looks pretty okay. Let's check with a different set. If I'm actually right, that's still the 4 and that is the 1. Yeah, this looks correct. There's no different 4s in there. So I'm counting the offset from 20. I miscounted, so I count it again. And it is 2B. 2B is the amount of peppers. I make a note, always make notes because you're going to mix things up otherwise. Now I dump the lives because I also want infinite lives. By the way, P is pausing. So I press P and then dump again to continue and now game over state yes okay let's start compare again and compare the lives now I'm looking in the vicinity where I also found the peppers and this is kind of weird I don't see a three but I see a two and a one so here they starting to count from zero. Very inconsistent programming. Either always count from zero for everything or count from one for everything, but this is really inconsistent. But yeah, it seems to be the lives. So I count again, this time in one time. $29 is the lives. Or assumingly the lives. And now I set a watch point with WP set on address dollar to be one byte long and a right. I want to see that when I chuck a pepper that this is indeed the right address. I start the game. And we see that we get five peppers, so I'm pretty sure this is correct. So I move to a safe place and chuck a pepper in the face of the sausage. And we indeed read it. And I see an SBC01 that is stored right after it. SBC stands for subtract with carry. So basically we're subtracting one from the pepper count. If we're going to change that to subtract carry zero, we won't subtract anything. 
Now I'm looking up the memory map to see where the ROMs are located. So I can DASM disassemble the whole ROM. Command. And here I'm jumping to that address that we just saw with the SBC. Yes, there we have it. And I decided to subtract zero from it. I put question marks here just to validate whether this is actually working. Now I'm looking in the XML file where in which ROM the D000 offsets are because we need to find D8EA. And this is the whole reason why I dumped the XML file. So we see here it is in AB06.13B. I copy that, go to hex course, find that address where we have the SBC01. So we change the 01 to 00, effectively no longer subtracting peppers when we throw them around. By the way, it's always important to change the least amount of code to get to your target functionality. That way you have the least amount of surprises and problems. Now let's check whether a hacked code is working. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that is a salty wiener, all right? Or a peppery wiener. It's pepper. Then again, it looks white, so I think it's more like salt. So I document the infinite pepper hack. It's always important to document your progress because you're going to revert it at some point when you're stuck and you want to re-implement it if needed. So I'm here analyzing whether $29 is indeed uh, the lives. So I set a watch point and when I die, we get into this address E9A2. And again, I document that. And here I'm thinking I could do two things. I could change the deck to an ink, but then again, when you increment 255 times, then you basically wrap over and die anyway, so it's not an infinite amount of lives. So I'm thinking about overriding it with EA. I'm writing AE, this is an error from my side, it should be EA, and I will change that later on. So here I'm going back to it, I'm going to change AE, which was wrong, to EA, two knobs, effectively removing the decrement $29,X. And knobs, by the way, mean no operation. So it's not doing anything. I'm dying. And what the fuck? I'm dying again? Seriously? What the fuck? Cock. So at this point, I tried a lot of different things. I tried creating a hack hook. If you don't know what a hack hook is, look at the Pac-Man episode on my channel. I copied the code in a clean piece of code. I jumped in there and tried different orders of the increment $29,X and the decrement $29,X. But it kept getting stuck in this dying loop. I was dabbling into whether to reverse engineer what causes it, but then decided after about an hour, let's investigate a different route, a different method. And that is where we will be picking up. I left this in because these sort of surprises do happen in reverse engineering software and hardware. So I wanted you to see it. I don't want you to be bothered with an hour of experimentation that is going nowhere. So we jump in to where I find a solution that will actually work. So I revert all the changes by unzipping the ROM again. I still have everything documented, so re-implementing that infinite pepper change is easy. I now set a breakpoint again on $E9A2. That is where we know where we go to when we die. And I will die several times until we get to the game over state so I can debug through that and see what happens. And if you want to die, the sausages don't get you. It's unbelievable. 
Okay, so one more time. Let's take the egg. Okay, and now we should stop again. And we can step through this. I will step through the code and reading it as I go. Trying to find something that would be indicative, and that is this, of a jump to a different state. BMI is for branch negative. And since we have FF lives over in A, this seems to be the place. So I'm documenting it again. And I'm testing my hypothesis by setting a breakpoint and seeing if we step to the next instruction after we die. And that happens, so if we change the BMI to jump to the next address, it would avoid the game over state. So I'm pretty sure this is it. So I change the code from BMI 0D to BMI 00. I typed 01 as an accident. It is 00 for the next instruction. That is what I was changing here. And again, set a breakpoint on C179. And I now see that we're jumping to the next instruction. And let's see, this is the last time that we die. Will we continue or will we be dead? We stop there. We do a step and we step over it. Yes. And we continue. And look at that. Even the lives wrapped around. So infinite amount of lives. Now I quickly re-implement the infinite amount of peppers again. Basically we have a two byte hack that is unbelievable. Now let's make some burgers. Is it me or does the salt look like jizz? He's jizzing a sausage in the face. And I want some sausage in between my buns. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, you can never have enough sausages between your buns, so here another one. I pickle a sausage in the face, yeah. Oh, and I got egg on my face. Bugger. Now let's just another sausage in the face. Yeah, where's that burger? And another burger to increase my BMI, yeah. Ooh, pickles! I got pickles between my buns. Yeah, ooh, another pickle in between my buns. And then I also want a sausage in between my buns. You can't have enough pickles and sausages between your buns. <laughs> Let's pickle a pickle. Come on, pickle, come on, pickle. Let's pickle the pickle. Let's pickle the sausage. Let's pickle the egg. Oh, and I got screwed by a pickle. So there you have it infinite peppers and infinite lives on burger time and i left in my exploration of this path that kept us dying all the time on purpose because as much as this is a science it's also an art and in reverse engineering whether it's hardware or software if you go into a route that turns out to be very complex it often pays to move back and think outside of the box if you can exploit it in a different way. And we did. And eventually we have a two byte hacked ROM that gives us infinite lies and infinite peppers. We change SPC01 to SPC00 to get infinite peppers. And we change BMI0D to BMI00 to jump over the game over state and have infinite lives. As simple as that, thinking outside of the box. Now talking about BMI, with all these burgers, my BMI shut up a little. So I will be going off to the lake, we'll have a swim. I hope you learned something and hope to see you in the next one.